Hello, and welcome back to another official Aqua FPS food review. I did one of these on Try Hard Heroes' channel a long time ago. Uh, he, he was away and he asked me to do a video and this is what I did. Turns out a lot of people enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, here we are again. If you wanna see the original one, go to Try Hard Heroes' channel and maybe, uh, you know, subscribe to him because he makes pretty good videos. I watch them. They're good, I'm telling you. So today on the menu, uh, we have, let's see, we have a nice Greek salad with grilled chicken on the top with a plastic fork and I got a side of mozzarella sticks, Italian. Oh, sorry, and a glass of New York City's finest tap water. Let's review this first, shall we? That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Lost a couple points because, you know, it's in a dirty glass. <laughs> you know, as usual. Hey, 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 get down. He's a bad dog. He's always trying to eat my food. All right, so what I like to do, this is a very, this is a very specific process that I, uh, that I do whilst eating these kinds of salads. Look at that chicken, though. Look at the coloring on that. That is cooked. That is grilled. Look at that. That's grilled chicken. It's got some char on it. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a little char. They included some dressing. Uh, some uh, Greek dressing. Give that a little shake. You gotta mix that up. There's solubles in here. Or, I don't know. There's something in there. Can you get down? Get down. What we do is we apply the dressing. Sorry, you should be seeing this. I'm so sorry. I don't have a napkin. Fuck. I need to get a napkin. Shit. Hold on. You take your dressing and you just gingerly apply it. Can you get down? My God, okay. All right, now that we've got the dressing figured out, because that's, that's, that's an, a, a key component to this entire process, you remove the chicken from the top. I do this because it creates, it's a big fucking wall of chicken, and I don't want to have to eat through a million pieces of chicken just to get some lettuce, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. Look what's going on here. That's some, like, grill gunk. That's too much grunk, that's too much grill, too much gunk. I don't like that. Here's what you do, you leave a couple pieces of chicken in so you can enjoy it with the rest of the salad. And what you do is as you go, you put more chicken back in there. You always want three to four pieces of chicken on the salad and then you, you know, mix that shit up and get in there as you, as you choose. Trust me, I've been doing this a long time. I know what I'm talking about. This also has anchovies. Uh, this anchovy doesn't look quite right. Usually I like them, but this one looks like shit. I'm not gonna eat that. Yeah, these anchovies look like they came out of a fucking dumpster. Look at that. Look at those. Oh, I fell in my coffee. This is already going to hell. Let's fish that out of there. All right, Jesus Christ, okay. First bite, we got a little cuke, we got a little piece of lettuce, and we got a tomato. And something else that I don't know what that is. All right. All right, this looks like shit. Part of it looks like shit, but it tastes okay. Got some feta cheese. Feta cheese! Mmm. That's a nice cheese. It gives it some pop. It gives it some bite, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm just excited about my salad. Nothing wrong with being excited about your, your lunch. The chicken is nice. The chicken is really nice. Mmm. Okay. Mm hmm We got ourselves a lunch going. This is from a uh, local diner that I uh, frequent. I found a couple pieces of hair in my food before. I actually, last time I got this very salad, there was a big hair in it. I ate it anyway. <laughs> it's fine. It's just hair. Come on. It toughens you up, you know? We got some marinara sauce to go with our mozzarella sticks. Classic combination. So I'm gonna remove this lid that looks like melted a little bit into the sauce. That's nice. Um, yeah, that, there's probably plastic in this. Melted plastic that I will probably ingest. Hold on, I'm gonna dump a little bit of this, just the top layer out, so maybe we avoid some plastic. All right, let's try a mozzarella stick here. Dunking in our plastic sauce, and uh, here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I should write a book on food combinations because I fucking nail it every time. The sauce and the mozzarella, whatever, sticks pair so nicely with this salad. Mmm. I'm on a one way trip to Flavortown. I'm a little disappointed. I like anchovies, but this one looks like absolute fucking, this looks like it came out of a someone's ear. This is fun. I'm having fun. All right, I'm starting to make a dent in this salad. Look at this nice brick of feta cheese. Okay. Something we have not discussed yet. These olives, I love olives. Careful though, these have pits. Don't want to break the tooth or swallow a pit because then you'll grow an olive tree in your stomach. Hmm? And nobody wants that. Had a little bit of an onion situation right there. These are all bones, like fish bones and stuff. Tiny little bones. Try this one. Yeah. Mm, not too bad. Yeah, the anchovies don't look quite right today, in my opinion. Plus, I'm not really feeling them today, really. I, they're, they're grossing me out a little bit. Sometimes I eat them, though. I don't know. Depends on the day. We're running low on chicken. So what I'm going to do... This is, this is what I mentioned earlier. So you're going to want to take out a pen and paper, because this, this part's a little complicated. Get down. 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 Your chicken supply on the lid of the salad. <clears throat> Pick some nice pieces and reapply them to the salad. Now we're back in business, baby. See, this is what I'm talking about. You gotta keep that chicken flowing. Your chicken supply needs to be moving constantly. It's basic chicken economics. I've consumed a good portion of this salad. Uh, however, I'm quite full now, so I will save it for later. And we have two more mozzarella sticks, which I'll probably eat. <laughs> Let me start by saying this salad was good. It was very good. It had a lot of great flavors, a lot of pop, a lot of bite. It had some zip, some zap, you know? It tasted great. The, com the ingredients in the salad were relatively fresh. Um, Quite tasty. I, I have I have no real issue with this uh, salad situation. This salad is scoring more points than it did the last time I got it. 
because there was a big gross hair in it last time. This time, no hair. The anchovies were a little weird, a little gross. I wasn't, I wasn't into the anchovies. Normally, I kind of enjoy eating them, so it's gonna lose some points there. Everything else, as a whole, I'd give this salad an eight and a half out of 10. It was good. There's nothing, like the flavors are balanced, the dressing is nice. Nice variety of ingredients. They didn't just give me a whole bunch of lettuce and like put a couple pieces of like feta cheese in there and call it a day. No, they, they fucking mix this shit up. Okay, the mozzarella sticks, very nice. I would prefer if the plastic didn't seem like it melted into the sauce, but what are you gonna do? It's, uh, you know, it's in a plastic container. It's hot, hot mozzarella. I'd give these a solid nine. They're really good. As a whole, the meal combined. I cannot stress the excellence of this combination enough. Mozzarella sticks with a Greek salad that shit is next level. The flavors go together so nicely. So yeah, that's uh, gonna be it. The meal as a whole, eight and a half out of 10. Pretty good. It was delicious. Delicious, semi-healthy-ish lunch. Um, except for the mozzarella sticks. Tasted good, no complaints, no hair in it. Eight and a half out of 10, not so bad.